Welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lin, and I hope that you had a wonderful Wednesday yesterday. Today is Thursday, November 21st, 2019. It is day four. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to participate in the Mindful Minute. It's a great way to get ourselves ready, one of our three Bs, along with being respectful and responsible. And many of you guys have um, started practicing many of the techniques that I've taught you guys. And it's no secret that some of you guys are coming up with new breathing techniques, which really does suggest that you are doing the Mindful Minute with me, and that is awesome. I'm really, really grateful for that. Uh, for those of you guys who are not practicing with me uh, in the Mindful Minute, I just want to say thank you for being respectful and allowing us to participate. Uh, as always, I do invite you to join in whenever you are ready. Um, it's never too late to join. Now today I want to introduce you to a new breathing technique that one of our second graders came up with. Uh, he had a, a different version, but as I kind of played around with it, I kind of, I ended up with a, a different variation where I simply touch my chest and as I breathe in, expanding my chest, expanding my belly, and feel bigger, I pull out. And as I exhale through my mouth, I bring it right back down to my shoulders. So that's something that you guys can try to use today. Uh, I'll try to use it a little bit um, myself. Uh, as you know, I like to close my eyes. You don't have to. Most important part is to anchor yourselves in your breathing, to really focus on your breathing. And as you really notice the present moment, you can start noticing everything that is around you, what you smell, what you hear, what you can feel against your skin, right? If your eyes are open, what you see, right? And I don't think there's much that we can taste, but who knows? Maybe the air tastes a little bit different. Who knows, okay? But let's go ahead and begin. First things first, settle your body. Be centered, okay? Notice how heavy your body feels. Allow Earth's gravity to really, really pull you down and then for a moment, notice the surface that is holding you up. If you're sitting crisscross applesauce, it's the floor. I'm sitting in a chair, so it's the chair seat. Let's go ahead and begin. Take that breath in through your nose, filling your belly full of air, like a balloon. And let it out nice and slowly through your mouth. Notice how you feel as you exhale. Notice your shoulders sinking Notice your muscles relaxing. Let's go ahead and take another breath in through our nose, even slower this time. And out through your mouth. Now, if you haven't begun your breathing technique, you may begin. I'm going to go ahead and try our second grade friend's breathing technique in. Out. In, out. Now, as you get into the rhythm of breathing, begin to notice what is around you. What do you hear? For me, I have a pellet stove burning with a roaring flame behind me, and I can hear it. What do you feel against your skin? clothing, the air, how does it feel? What do you smell? Now turn your spotlight inside your body, noticing every little bit of it as you scan from your toes all the way up to your head. Where do you feel healthy and ready to go for the day? And where do you feel sore or fatigued, which is a fancy word for tired? Then turn your attention inward to further to your emotions. What do you bring to school today? If it's happiness, where do you store that happiness? Where do you feel it? in your body. How about fatigue, that fancy word that means tired? 
Where do you feel that in your body? In your head, in your chest, your back? Maybe you have a combination of different emotions and feelings. Which ones are bigger than others? Don't get too caught up in why you feel a certain way. That is likely to come to the past or the future, neither of which you can impact now. Just simply notice that you do feel a certain way. And by the way, it's okay. Even those unpleasant feelings and emotions. Don't try to change them. Allow them to be. Now in a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets uh, quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now whether you have a great day or not is ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and yeah, enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As always, I want to say thank you so much for joining me, for those of you guys who did. And for those of you guys who chose not to join us, I want to say thank you for being respectful and allowing us this chance to center ourselves. Now, for all of us, don't forget that we do have three expectations here at the school, and they may look very differently. Number one, be respectful for yourself and for others. What does it look like to be respectful to yourself, and what does it look like to be respectful to others? Number two, be responsible. How are you going to be responsible with your belongings, your hands, your voice, the words you use? How are you going to be responsible for yourself? And then also, how are you going to be responsible in taking care of others? And number three, be ready. Now, if you took the moment to participate in the Mindful Minute, uh, you have taken a big step forward. But for everybody, how are you going to be ready to learn? How are you going to be ready to eat in the cafeteria? How are you going to be ready to ride the bus? Think about it and do it. Also, don't forget, today is Thursday, November uh, no November 21st, 2019. Uh you can live forever. You never have this day back again. So I invite you to join me in making this day count. Can't wait to see you guys around. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.